I am so excited for this video today because I haven't done a bang on my channel in so long and this one looks so natural and fleeky and the scalp and the hairline looks so real. Listen, I'm showing you guys how to do it step by step so make sure y'all stay tuned. what is going on youtube it's your girl easy breezy and i'm back with another hair sponsor thank you so much west kiss hair all right they sent us this body wave lace front unit now this is a little bit different because instead of a 13 by 4 this is a 13 by 6 meaning that the lace goes back a little bit further so you can have longer parts deeper parts and do a bigger variety of hairstyles so if you guys are looking for a wig online where you can do like a really deep side part or you want your middle part to like reach the middle of your head <laughs> then make sure the wig description mentions it's a 13 by 6 instead of a 13 by 4. So you guys already know if you need your liquid lace glue, make sure you head to galaxygirlhair.com and use my special discount code liquidlace5 for $5 off. All right, all right, I'm seeing something right now. So I have a slight problem, right? So when I was bleaching the knots on this wig, I was using a 40 volume and I left it on there and went to sleep, guys. <laughs> like i know that is the worst thing you can do so the knots ended up being like almost a platinum blonde color as you can see like they're really really light but we're gonna fix it you know what i'm saying have some faith in me i have some black semi-permanent rinse that i may use on it i have some mascara shit, shit i got eyeliner <laughs> i got whatever it takes to make this hairline look natural by the end of this install all right now this is me doing damage control as you guys can see now hopefully this works but if it doesn't don't lose faith because i do have some more tricks up my sleeve okay so right now i'm using the tropical root setting foam to apply to the entire top of the frontal so we can get ready to mold this hairstyle now y'all already know i do all my styling wet because it's just easier it's easier to manage the hair and make it really act right so yes all right, cool. So now I'm gonna take my comb and part out this bang. Now, because I'm doing a wispy bang today, we don't wanna pull out too much hair. Now, I know this is gonna feel weird doing this at home or on your client because it's like, dang, like this doesn't seem like a bang should be this tiny. <laughs> like normally bangs will come from like a little bit further back or sometimes even the middle of our head, but we do not want that much hair, okay? So we don't want like a Nicki Minaj bang Bang, a thick Chinese bang we're going with the wispy bang so really only go back maybe an inch and a half at most and right now I'm taking my tweezers and plucking the part so it can be more defined but you know what I'm saying like I told y'all earlier I kind of OD'd on the knots and it kind of made the roots blonde as well um yeah i don't even think i've done it this bad before <laughs> like i think i outdid myself today so i'm really gonna have to do some damage control so right now i'm taking some black semi-permanent dye and listen i'm trying to cover all that up and you know i've been going on instagram and i follow a few hair pages and i see like a lot of stylists use a black spray to make the part more defined but i feel like using dye is better because you can actually only get the hair itself and you know the color doesn't get on the lace so it doesn't look like completely fake i mean i really shouldn't be talking right now but uh, you know just in like any normal circumstance like i think it's better to brush the color on so you can only get the color on the hair rather than getting the color on the lace and like making all of it look black if y'all know what i'm talking about All right, so I had to put some black dye on really the entire hairline, okay? So listen, 
I ain't never messed up like this in a minute, but I'm actually glad that I can show you guys this process because this actually teaches hairstylists that even if you do butcher the knots <laughs> and butcher the roots, that it's still fixable and you know, you don't have to uh, discard the wig. Like, you know, there's always ways to come back when it comes to art and hair is a form of art. So as long as you're creative, you can make something happen. And for real, for real, what I really should have done was make the roots the light green, the, you know, the lime green that Billie Eilish has. That would have been cute, okay? That would have been like the most perfect, beautiful mistake anyone has ever made. <laughs> but we didn't think of it at the time, so whatever. So now I'm taking my scissors and cutting the baby hairs on the side. Now, when you do bangs, I mean, you don't really have to do baby hairs under the bangs, obviously. So I don't worry about doing the bangs in the center, just maybe two swoops on the side and the sideburn. All right, so after I did that first layer of dye on the roots, I added some powder makeup that was more of her shade. And you know, it made the roots look a little bit lighter again. So now I'm going back over the roots with a little bit more dye. And the good thing about this is you don't have to wash this out at all, okay? Just wrap her up, sit her under the dryer, and just really dry it on the hair. All right, so now we are doing the styling. Okay, my favorite part, or one of my favorite parts is using my pink hot comb, okay? So I'm using my Flyaway Tamer Wax Stick that you can also get off galaxygirlhair.com and applying it to the entire top and really the hairline too so that when I take my hot comb to it, it gives it a little bit of moisture, it lays down all the cowlicks and the flyaways and makes it nice and flat. But before I do that, let's take our flat iron and press out the entire wig all right so this is gonna be a little bit of a process so while I press out this wig I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my current spiritual mental state of mind so the holiday time is basically here right now and you know it's something weird about the holiday season it's like a very joyful time but also a very stressful time simultaneously so it's like I've been enjoying time with my family. I've been enjoying, you know, eating good food and drinking and spending time with my boyfriend and stuff. But it's like, I don't know, like depression be kind of sneaking in sometimes. Like I slowly realized that from all the eating late at night and drinking that I've been doing, I've been putting on some weight. You know, I can see it in my face when I record my videos. I can see it in my shoulders. I can just see it like, and it's different. It's, it's very different. Like when you can tell that you're gaining weight, it's just like, whoa, like, whoa, 
whoa, <laughs> you know, it's just a different feeling. It's like, well, I need to, I need to get right. So lately I've been trying to cut out alcohol. I really stopped smoking completely because smoking makes me a bimbo and it makes me slow. So no, makes me lazy, makes me incompetent. No. Um, so yeah, like I had to apply some self-discipline to myself because you know what I'm saying? I was getting a little bit too comfortable and it was getting out of hand. And you know, something that happened to me the year prior, like last winter, I did not want to go outside because you know, the cold is just, it just blows me. I didn't want to go hiking and you know, go working out like I normally did in the summertime. So I spent a lot of times indoors, not getting no sunlight, you know, not getting no fresh air, just literally inside recording, doing voiceovers, for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. And I literally became depressed. So this time around, like this week, I told myself that I am not going to sit around. I am not going to not get no sunlight and not get no fresh air. So I've been going hiking every single day, even in the cold, y'all. <laughs> like where you can see your breath type stuff. Um, but yeah, I feel like I have to, you know? And, you know, I actually learned that it's really not a big deal. Like once you're working out and your body temperature increases and you start sweating, you don't feel as cold. You just can't stay outside, <laughs> you know? You can be outside and, and work out and, you know, sweat and you you feel good like the cold air actually feels good but you just can't stay out there for a long time but yeah so if you guys are feeling like feeling stagnant or feeling like a little bit depressed make sure you head to the gym make sure you always take a walk outside get some sun it don't matter what the weather is prepare for it you know if it's cold bundle up you know if it's hot whatever you know you already know what to do but don't allow yourself to stay inside continuously day after day after day because that is the start of depression gaining weight and uh, losing it all right so that was like the tiniest shop talk ever but so for this bang you know so i can make sure it has that wispy effect and it's not like perfectly straight you know like a straight line i did the point cutting which basically means like you're holding the scissors in a vertical motion instead of a horizontal just straight to the side so basically you know that takes off a little bit of weight off the bottom of the bang and it gets rid of the line of demarcation and it makes it look a little bit more natural natural and you know gives it that wispy look that we're going for so this may be a little bit weird but i'm adding a little bit of wax to the bang to make the bang kind of like clump together a little bit because we want it to be a little separated you know so sometimes i'll put like um oil sheen on the bang or a little bit of wax and you know just to make the bang separate a little bit because really the bang looks the best after like two days so we're really trying to get that quote unquote two day look all right so this is the final result and y'all let me know if you think i salvaged this wig <laughs> because you know i almost messed it up but the wig is nice and full and soft y'all look at the density it's just it looks beautiful it looks like a looks like a sewing with leave out goddamn <laughs> once again thank you so much west kiss for sponsoring this video with this body wave lace front unit 13 by 6 by the way if you guys want this exact wig I'm going to put all the information in the description below. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications. See y'all later. And I need my props. <laughs>